Okay, the big party's over, but there's still plenty of food left. What do you do? Well, whatever you do, don't throw it out, because our next guest says you can make a great meal with leftovers. There, I said it, the L word, and it's true. Here with the lowdown on leftovers is Anders Thusen, owner of the Hard Day Cafe in Newburgh, New York. And coincidentally, he's also Home Matters' very own food stylist. Well, hello. Hello. You make everything look so terrific Thanks. all the time. How many meals do you prepare for us during the course of a season? About 180. 180 minutes. A lot of food, Anders. Yeah. So what's the menu for Friday night's party? Well, we're going to start off with a little tequila sun-dried chicken. Ooh. And pasta. Mm -hmm. This is a good meal. And also vegetables, which is really good. That's a good, very impressive Friday night party. Very healthy food. Yeah. Very quick. Very easy. So how do you make the chicken? Okay, we're going to start out with the chicken in the pan, so we're going to buy a few minutes. Yeah. Okay. You know we're about turn that. Turn it over. That's right. And this is just sauteed, a little dredged in a little flour, plain mm -hmm. old, a little onion in there, a little olive oil. Yep. We're going to let that get nice and hot, and then we're going to deglaze it with some tequila. Uh oh. Yeah. Flames. Does that mean we're going to have fire? Fire. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you always wanted to do that on television. Absolutely. Didn't you? <laughs> and I want you to impress your guests. So. Yeah. You want to make sure they're in the kitchen when you do this. Absolutely. And you want to turn the lights off. You have, you know, your husband or your whoever. Yeah, or your, your in-laws. Man the lights. Yeah. So it's okay. time, to, time to blow the place up. Before we do that, let me show you. <laughs> Great. <laughs> you know, you see those sun-dried tomatoes in the grocery? Yeah. They're all dried out and shriveled what up. What is up with that? Do people eat this stuff? Well, you can't eat them because they're too hard. Well, you got to reconstitute them. Ah. Um. So the simple way to do it is throw them in a pot with a little water or chicken stock is nicer because it adds a little, a little bit more, more flavor. I love sun-dried tomatoes, but I only, only thought you could get them in secret restaurants like yours. Yeah, right. Yeah, the Hard Day Cafe. Well, in Giant also. Yes, yes. Supermarkets. Supermarkets. Okay. So you bring them to a boil, let them sit 10 minutes, and they, voila, they become soft. Look at that. All right. I'm sure everybody knows that, but, you know, you learn something new every day. Use them as a garnish. You know, you can cut them up. They go in this dish, so we're going to cut them for this dish. We'll also leave some hole in the pot, and we'll maybe garnish with them. If you've never cooked with sun-dried tomatoes, they have real intense flavor. They're delicious. They're excellent. This is getting pretty hot, Anders. Beautiful. Are you nervous? Hotter the better. No. Okay. Not at all. <laughs> I Ready? think you want to stand back. You think? I think so. I'm pretty brave. Yeah. You sure? Well, okay. Is your makeup I'm, flammable? I'm flammable. You are flammable. Yeah. Woohoo! So it's just a little bit of a light show. <laughs> <laughs> are you okay, Susan? I think I need to take a break now. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to add some is garlic. Is there any flavor that that adds or is just, look at me, I'm look, look, do, do you like garlic? <laughs> yes, I love okay. garlic. You know I love garlic. All right, well, we'll add some extra then. You can never have enough garlic in your food. And what's that? I try to cook without salt. Doesn't Some of your guests may be low sodium. The salt's on the table. If they want the salt, they can add it. But I'll tell you, the flavors from these items that go into the dish... What's that? Are plenty, shallots? Plenty shallots. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We've deglazed our pan with the tequila. We're going to add a little chicken stock that we've taken out of a nice box. You can use canned box. Oh, it doesn't so matter, fat-free. Mm -hmm can store that now. You know, who's got time to cook down bones and make real chicken stock? Well, there are people out there who can, but... God not, bless them, and, and yes. please do it, we because that well. is the preferred method. So what else goes in there? Everything? Yep, we're going to bring it to a boil. Oops. We're going to put some basil. About okay, half here we of go. that. Have a bit. Ooh, that smells like basil. Fresh basil. That's plenty. Onions? These guys? A little bit of green onion. It's fine. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Going to add our sun-dried tomatoes. Sun-dried tomatoes. Oh, those aren't good. Yeah, Will you cut these up okay. for it? that's okay. You know what? I'm pretty good. I think I can yeah. take those out. All right. Okay. Beautiful. That's it? Yeah. Oh, we're we going to put some cream in. But you put that cream in last or now? You can put it in now. Mm -hmm. Ready? Come we're going to let this dish finish. About half of that. Now, another thing we're going to have good. is vegetables. You can just grill those. Which, if you present them like Anders knows so beautifully how to do. I love it how you present your Yeah, I used your a grill pan. Today. You like that? Yeah, it's great. A grill pan Save gave... the best for last. That looks so terrific. Or you can do them in a skillet. You can like do this. them in a skillet, saute them, just slice them however you like them. Right. You know, everything in here is what you see here. So we're just going to turn on the burner and so, we're going to go with it. Once you get all this done, this is a terrific meal. You, you've created a terrific meal. And for your guests on Friday, 
But now it's Saturday, and you prepared a lot, so you would have leftovers. Ten four. You don't want to. Shall I go to the refrigerator? Sure. Bring right. out that stuff. Here we go. How many garbage bags have you filled over the years from your refrigerator I, well, because I'm you didn't eat the leftovers? Say. I am so embarrassed to say. I hear you. We've got leftover pasta with a little marinara sauce, mm -hmm. and that leftover looks terrific. Yeah, we're going to make a nice little pate with our leftover chicken. Oh, Anders, pate? You could use beef, you could use, yeah, but there's no liver in it. Oh, good, I okay? thought, yeah. Okay, so it might appeal to more people. Here we go. Not everybody likes So you liver. just put that chicken in there, no no picking out the chicken or toss anything? The toss the chicken in there in. with the sauce, the whole nine yards. we got some veggies left over. I we're going to put those in. pate is just stuff ground up. <laughs> well, you got it. In parentheses, it. Yeah. stuff ground up. Uh, there's probably some French guys out there turning in their graves right now because they're watching me do this. But that's okay. We're going to watch our chicken More over there chicken so stock. it doesn't burn. So okay, I'll be if watching. you can turn that down for me, that would be great. Yes, I will. Thank you, dear. There you go. Now, you've got the pate going. You can actually turn that off. I think it's ready. All right. So it'll sit and Even it'll wait better. for us to plate it up. All right. We're going to put a ladle, you know, about a quarter cup, a little bit more than that of chicken stock that we have reserved on a stove in here. That's just to get it moving, to loosen it up. And it goes oh. on by itself. Let it go for a minute or so. Refrigerate it or no? You can put it in a container. You can throw it in the freezer if you want to. Use it for the next party. It's up to you. You can use it that night. And Andrews, you know what I love doing most? This is what I love most about your food. Eating the fact it. that you make it and I do this. Cool. Get out. That is so incredible. Not bad. Does Stuff it remind you of together. last night's dinner? Not at all. Not even vaguely. There you have it. Soup. I want soup. soup. Well, the pasta. What would you do with the pasta if you didn't make soup out of it? I don't know. I think... Microwave it. Microwave it. And go, gee, this tastes like last night's dinner. Yeah. Doesn't Just have to. Just put it in that chicken broth. Yep. And this put is all right for in. Saturday night's dinner. A little pate, a little soup. A little soup. Doesn't even look veggies. like Friday night's dinner. Put them in. Wow. We're going to turn off all our burners so we don't blow anything up. <laughs> well, I think we've salad. had enough fire for one day. <laughs> <laughs> Do you serve your salad with dressing or without when you have guests? Well, it depends. I'm not going to say one way or another. Usually with. I toss it, toss it a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Well, so if it has... So, you're not going to put that in the soup, are you? What kind of dressing? Yeah. I like, like a little vinaigrette. Okay. That's perfect. Really? Be bold. Be daring. Try it in your soup. Just put it in the soup, Put it in the soup. <laughs> It'll wilt. It'll wilt, just like spinach. Oh, my God. Do mescaline. restaurants do this? Do Absolutely. they take leftovers and make other things out of them? That's they how do, restaurants make money. That is correct. Yeah, they make chicken salad and out of all that And they make great chicken. soup. Yeah, you and know, make soup and pate. Look at that. Is, That's probably that? where pate came Nothing. from. So here you have, you have soup, you have pate, and you have... You might want to grab a spoon. You have so many meals. I think we're going to have to go over into Sunday and, and Monday and Tuesday. I want you to try this. All right, well, let me get a spoon. I think you'll like it. Well, and even after it cooks a while, too, by the way, it's going to taste even better. Yeah, you can turn it off. You can throw it in a couple of containers. You can freeze some of it. That is unbelievable. You know, this, this meal could last you a week if you wanted to. I love meals that last a week. I'm going to ask you to plate this up and do okay. what you do best, which is make Just it look Just real quick, pretty. to make the croutons, you're going to butter them up, throw them oh. in the oven, you're ready to go. Oh, the croutons, okay. that's easy. Yep. Yeah. Piece of cake. Everybody knows what that is. And that goes for your pate. You can throw it in your soup. Either way. I'll watch him go. Watch him go. You have to make everything look so pretty for us, and you do such a good job, Anders. Yeah, I'm trying. And you work hard, and, and we love everything that you do. You're the best, too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Not enough people say that. Oh, thank you. You know, you don't have to be too neat about it. You can just, like, pile it on. But see the way you lay the chicken like that? I'm just, see, I just never well, it's nice to have that. a little height. You yeah. Kind of catches people's wow. eyes. Anders, you're terrific. And we made, th we made two meals out of one. We're gonna eat, we can eat all weekend. We can eat for three days. on just. And we just started with that beautiful chicken. That's right. Thank you so much for... Well, you were going to be here anyway. I can't say thanks <laughs> for being here. Thanks for being on the show today. Oh, thank you. It's been a great year. Thank you. And now let's find out what Robin Young's been up to. Cookbooks. Don't you love them? Yes. Do you use all of them? No. We'll tell you how they can help organize your kitchen when Home Matters comes back. If you'd like more information about any guest or project you've seen on our show, simply write to us at Home Matters, Post Office Box 8746, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 191.